Hello everyone, Pockets here. Back again playing some more EVE Online. Finally. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of weeks here for me, and I haven't had a lot of screen time. You probably no may have noticed some uh, gaps in the recording schedule. Uh, and I don't see that fixing itself anytime in the near future. I got some things I gotta work through here, but I'm gonna do it as much as I can. So it may not be every day for a video, but we'll get as many updates in as we can going forward. I did try to get something recorded yesterday. But basically the servers, as we all know, were having some troubles keeping keeping the servers up. And it basically was down for my entire gaming time yesterday, which is fine, that happens. I would have liked to have got a video about the sites up for you guys yesterday, but that just didn't happen. So we're going to go ahead and do one now. We're going to go find ourselves a site, and we're going to run it. Uh, just before the site, as in, in preparation for the site, I built myself a Tengu. Uh, mostly because I've always wanted one, but they're not really... I haven't found them that great in high sec overall. Uh, you can run missions with them, I guess. I haven't tried that yet, so I may try this one in a mission site at some point. But as far as doing the exploration, in my opinion, they're a little limited, uh, just due to the fact that they can't get into a lot of the high sec sites, only the top two or three and some of the... Um, why can't I think of the word? Unrated sites. But for the for the most part, having a T1 cruiser or a pirate cruiser seems to work better for me. So I also that's kind of what I have the Gila for. And I do have a Stratios I will be using after this event is over. But for this site, I decided I wanted to try Tangu. So I built this guy. I will go over the fit in a minute. I just want to see if this site is empty. What do we have? Uh, Gila, so probably not. And we're going to get ourselves a fresh site. If this one's em not empty, we will move to the next system. I'm going to head home. I do have some loot. I could race this, I probably have no problem, but I don't want to. Just because that's my way. Oh, and the battleship just spawned anyway, so we're all good. So let's get on to the next system. Let's take a look at this fit while we find ourselves a site to run. As I said, I have run a few, so it's been good. So in the highs, I have six heavy... Actually, we should start with these. So I put the chassis optimization for the propulsion mod. I got this because it gives me agility and velocity. I did originally have an afterburner, uh, or not an afterburner, a micro warp drive, but it didn't seem to do enough, and it, it meant I had to put like a capacitor battery instead of the other uh, tracking computer, the missile guidance computer. So I switched it back out. This I kept the same. I just like the agility helps me align just a little bit quicker. Uh, the other one swaps one of the mids for a low, so I get an extra low slot, but I don't think that's necessary considering I've got four. Obviously, the accelerated ejection bay, this gives us our missile launcher in the highs. And the bonuses to damage and what's not. Let's get this warping. Uh, so, yeah, kinetic light, heavy, and heavy assault missile. Damage, rate of fire, which are like a double de DPS boost. And a missile velocity bonus for range, which is great. Her grade reduction, so seven high slots, six launcher hard points. Gives us our offensive. Uh, the seventh slot instead of a scanner, I've put the festival launcher and we will launch some of these fireworks. Is it gonna? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Is it warping? Or... Oh, this was a dead end system. Let's go ahead and get in there. Uh, for the defense, I put the amplification node, which is the active tanking one, so you get a 10% bonus to shield booster effectiveness and overheating, which we don't really do in PvE. Now, uh, this is my first strategic cruiser outside of the test server, too, that I fit myself, so pretty happy with it so far. Uh, let's see, we have a site. We do not. Let's work to the next system. It's been getting pretty busy. Uh, lots of people running these sites, so it's going to take a while to find one. So yeah, shield booster and effectiveness, blah, blah, blah. And then for the core system, I put the Graviton Reactor, because you me a capacitor recharge bonus, or capacity bonus and e-war resistance. So yeah, pretty simple. So that gives us six heavy missile launcher twos, and I've just been using uh, Scourge Fury missiles. I could carry pre uh, precision missiles with me as well to further help against frigates, but it's not that big of an issue. I probably shoot two more two more volleys per frigate than I probably should, but uh, it saves me some cargo room because it does take a lot of missiles to kill some things. And the festival launcher, uh, Tech Two Afterburner. I just didn't feel like buying. I don't, I can't find it. I thought I had a Shadow Serpentis 10 Mega Newton, but I can't find it. It's probably on one of my ships somewhere. Uh, I bought just a Tech 2 one. Uh, Dread Gristus Hardeners, so thermal and kinetic, uh, just to get the extra capacitor and fitting space. Uh, Justum C-type medium shield booster, 
Uh, we regenerate, we recharge at 54.1 hit points per second. And when it's all active, we're at like 82 and 80% 80 resist. So it's really decent tanking. It tanks the whole room from a standstill. I don't usually have too much problem. We do use, I'll just do here. Uh, two missile guidance computers right now with precision scripts loaded. I start with precision scripts. And typically if nobody else is in the site before the battleship spawns, I don't bother switching the range until the battleship's there, but if someone shows up, I'll switch over to the range one just so I make sure that I have... I can show you the difference here in a minute, but this gives us our range out to 61 kilometers as is. If I unfit the scripts, I get out to 75, and then when I fit the the range scripts I get up to like 91 kilometers so 91 kilometers guarantees they're in range and I can start shooting right away as I close the distance uh, and even without the precision scripts I apply fully to battle the battleship anyway so that's been good uh, in the lows I have one ballistics control system two and three Kaldari Navy ballistics control systems and then a warhead catalyst tech two and then two flare catalysts just for better application against frigates it uh, gives us almost 700 DPS. Uh, a couple skills I could train would bring that up over 700. Originally I had this fit with heavy assault missiles and was getting almost 800 DPS, but I found myself running after the, the battleship too much. I tried to close the range, even with the range scripts, so I swapped it out. This is a very busy system. I doubt we're going to find it on... Holy smokes. Uh, Brutix. I don't know what's with all these Velators. This is the I keep coming to the system and saw here that Brutix might be running it. Everything else is probably okay. Thorax could be in there. We'll see as we land here in a second. Turn this all on just in case. And we are cap stable, which isn't necessary, but at least for the first Tengu, I wanted to be sure I was gonna be able to recharge. Yeah, there's the Brutix right there. But yeah, so that's the fit. I didn't do the yes, I did it all. So yeah, it gives us Almost 700 DPS, which seems to be okay. And there we go. So I can show you my loot so far. I've run about five sites uncontested, and I've raced a couple sites. And this is what I've got so far. So. Uh, the Marshall Jacket. So this is for the Garistas. Decent little jacket. So I got that. I got the women's coat, which I actually prefer. I'm hoping there's a guy's coat available on this site as well, because I kind of like it. The one I'm wearing is a coat similar, not quite the same, but similar to this. Those are the crystal ones. I'm going to give that to one of my alts. I got a whole bunch of these naughty people fireworks. So we're going to shoot those off. Uh, this is my second round, so I got a couple eggs at home, but I do have two eggs found, which is great. I don't know exactly what they're for. Right now, it looks like you can only sell them. That's a busy system, we'll see here. Turn all this on. Now I've got two of the advanced accelerators and I had gotten one of the standards which I activated right away because I had, I skipped using the drip feed because it was a plus 10 for 10 days or whatever it is, works out to be. So I figured since this site's starting up right away, I'd have time to find one and that worked out. So I just put a standard one in for now. Starting tomorrow, I'll activate the advanced. I have used one of these, I think it was the, this one to go a little bit faster. That was a tech one of this, just for fun. So a few of those. I've gotten so far four or five. I think I have one back at station of the C3 A uh, damage control mods. These are pretty cool. They I take a pretty big hit if I swap out my tech two drone damage controls. There's nothing here. This looks like one of the broken sites, which I have been seeing. So someone ran it, but there's no wreck for a battle a battleship. And the capsule thing is probably empty, but I'm going to open it anyway in case someone doesn't know. So far that's, that's fine, but it appears to be a broken site. I'm hoping they fix that. Anyways, uh, I do take a damage hit on my helo when I switch out for these, but it's mostly because you take 10%, like half the damage bonus for your drones. And the missile bonus here is 7%. And on your base, on your tech 2 missile one, it would be 10. So probably better on a missile boat with drone support as opposed to the other way around. Uh, oh, there, look at that, see? Someone came, killed the first wave, but didn't take the loot. Didn't take the eggs. So that's fine. If we ever figure what those are for, that'll be great. Uh, so yeah, I got a few of those that we're going to sell. They go for, the, this is the simple one, the Tech 1. 
There's a tech two version as well, but the tech one goes through at 20 mil, so nothing that great. And some skills. These are actually the ones I haven't activated. I already have the Mauler skin, and I have two more, so I've been dropping that. I did get the, if I remember correctly, I got the Atron and the Archon, Archon as well. So getting there. But yes, yeah, so that's so far what I found. Nothing too amazingly great, but it does work out to be pretty good. I mean, at 20 mil a piece, that's uh, 80 mil right there. 19 million a piece. Now, who knows what these will go for if I decide to sell them. You know, and the boosters are always good for the extra cash, or you know, especially the Tech 3s and Tech 2s. And if I get a whole whack load of these, I'll just sell them. Now, let's see if we can find it. They're in sight. So it has been pretty busy. It was a little bit less busy when I started this morning, just after downtime. I finally got in a bit this morning, so that was good. And I'll show you the strategy. I have a mobile tracked unit. I'll show you why once we actually find a site. If this one's dead, I will let you guys go until I find one that we can run alone. As, as usual for me, if someone's already there, I won't touch it, usually. Um, if I'm just grinding up the stats, I might stay and kill some of the rest, but I'll never take the loot because that's just not my way. But if I get there first and someone shows up after, I will gladly race them. Yeah, so this guy's just doing his thing. So I'm going to leave this site alone as well. And we will continue on our tre trek home. And I'll bring you guys back when I find a site we can do solo. Alright guys, and here we are. We just landed on grid with a site. So there's no box. So we're not going to get an egg from this site. So that's fine. We're going to go ahead and start locking these guys up. And I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to launch my MTU while that stuff locks up. And I start by taking out the cruisers because they do the most damage and they're pretty quick to wipe out with these with missiles. And we're basically going to sit here. I let the MTU pull in the wrecks and loot them because uh, you seem to get a lot of these boosters from the regular wrecks when they drop loot, which is nice. That's a different. I didn't notice that in the previous event. I think pretty much I, I looked at a half dozen to a dozen lootable wrecks and got nothing but uh, whatchamacallit. Um, scrap metal so the other thing is because the final ship can sometimes spawn like 60 kilometers away and I you know I go chase him down if I was to be moving around I'd have to come back to the MTU at the end anyway and this gets me a little bit more loot in the form of you know if we like open that one wreck had some fireworks that's not a problem and yeah, so I just sit here next to my MTU, and it tractors up the wrecks and loots them for me. And I can just sit here. And again, because I can get out to like 90 kilometers, I don't really have to move, and this baby just tanks away. Uh, it is a bit of an expensive fit. I think all said, once I 600 mil here. Um, I went to Jita, the ship, the actual uh, Tangu was about 150 mil cheaper in Jita than it was up here in Dodixie which is significant. So, or maybe it, was, maybe it was not quite 150, but close enough. Close enough that it was worth it. So I only paid about 500 mil for it. It probably actually ran me 700 once I was, but I tried some other fits and they cost a bit. So probably closer to, you know, 600, 700 million, but uh, it's fun. And I wanted one up here for a while and just couldn't really justify it due to the combat size. And this might be, a broken site. We will give it a second. We'll let this thing loot. So this does happen. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but sometimes you'll kill the first wave and nothing else will spawn, which is unfortunate. I have flown into sites that were left behind. Now, at one point I found a site that was left. Uh, didn't have it, had the, all the wrecks and no spawn, and I sat here for a minute and then things started spawning. So I don't know if it's a time thing. But yeah, so we just got our fireworks this time. I am gonna just sit here for like three minutes and just see, but I'm not gonna make you guys wait. Uh, if I get a spawn, that's great. If not, we will go back and we'll find another site. All right, we found an empty site. This is actually an interesting one. Lots of spawn in the initial and a box. So we are gonna get things rolling right away here. Uh, let's get to inventory. Let's launch this baby. Let's get these two locked up because they're going to be my start. And we're going to grab that box. I have to bring her on. I could have just floated under the box before the dropping the, mic the tractor unit, but that's okay. It does look like we had one guy came in, killed something, and left. So this box may be empty. Maybe they're just taking the boxes. 
We shall see what we get. Uh, let's turn our mag uh, that shield on. And yeah, we're almost at the box. We'll take out the cruiser. And then we'll go park at our MTU again. Because that's what I do. Take that. Yeah, empty box. That's what I thought. So someone came in. Looks like they grabbed the... The loot. The egg thing and left. But that's okay. Because the rest of the site is for me then. Let's see what we got. And just scroll it on along. Once we usually get within pickup range, 2400 meters, that's when I'll usually uh, slow down like that, hit the brakes, and I should just drift right into range. Let's lock up the cruiser. We'll take him out next because they're the more damage, easier to kill too. I apply to them better, got all that. And there's nobody here, so I'm just going to sit on my. Uh, Precision scripts. Usually, if someone else is in the site, I will preload the range script so in the battleship spawns I can reach them. As I said in the previous match, or previous round here, round, event site, whatever, site. Um, it's been a long haul. I've been jumping around for a good hour since I cut out from you guys, and a lot of the sites have been bugged, so I didn't bother showing, I'm not going to bother showing those. And this is the first one that looks promising. We're getting spawns pretty regularly, so we'll just uh, just go with it. We'll just kind of keep an eye on D-Scan as well. Nothing super going to get my get in my way here, so that's good. And yeah, so let's see what we can get out of this site. And it's been pretty fun, other than the broken sites, but I do enjoy these sites and talking to people. And we're just gonna kill this frigate. This is the burst part for me. Because obviously you can see it takes several hits. And again, I could swap out for precision missiles, that would probably help, but then I'd have to carry them and uh, I'm already at over half with just the ten thousand of these I like to carry. Now I don't know, I can make more shorter trips so I can get back to base every more more regularly, but But yeah, I mean, I like to just, I don't like to switch ammo because then I also have to, I get caught with the battleship spawning in and having to switch back to my rage missiles and because it's semi-random. You never know when that's going to happen, really. So yeah, this just works. It's a little expensive on missiles. There we are reloading. And yeah, so it's been like an hour. Uh, once they fix the sights, I don't think it'd be that big of an issue. Ha, ah, there's the boss guy. See, he's going to land. 67 out. So I'm going to turn these off. Start locking him. Come on. Oh, come on. There he goes. Range script. Uh, reload. Oh, I didn't bring them. Crap. Uh, what happened? Where did I put them? Alright. Fine. It's okay. I get within 61, right? Yeah. So well, it's not too far. I must have accidentally dropped them off at home when I didn't mean to. Because I'm smart like that. Is this guy bringing drones out? He is. Is he going to send them after my target? There. We're in range. We're shooting. And we're going to get our fireworks on him as well. Because I like to. And is he coming after? Uh, no. Yeah, he is. He's following me in. So I should have picked up the MTU. Maybe we can be quick about it. It is kind of directly behind us. So. <laughs> Whee! He's going to be faster than me, or what do we got? Uh, about the same. He's a little faster, but that won't matter unless he's going to steal my loot. That's a Gila. Oh, that's the Gila. Mm. Should have enough missiles to actually kill him. We should start seeing our fireworks here in a moment. This should be getting into range here momentarily. That's probably enough. We're going to make quite a mess over here. So we got the Gila's drones on it. Uh, that's the only one I'm worried about. I'm not so worried about the Vexer. Uh, he's slowed down. I don't know what he's doing. 
No, he's not slowed down. He's doing 600, but I guess that's comparative speed, huh? No, there he goes. He did. He bounced off me. Is he following me in? Hmm, no idea. Let's target him. That, my friend, is my loot. Oh no! Excellent. We'll head back to the MTU. We picked up the main loot. We can just untarget him now because I got it. Let's see what we got. So I got ooh, women's pants. I know exactly where those are going. I was working with a person. Well, not working with it. We ran into a site and the guy dropped in and didn't try to steal the loot and just cleared some of the rats and we chatted for a bit. And he gave me this hat, which I just picked up in station, contracted it to me, and I had an extra pair of men's pants. And I gave them to him, but... He plays a female character, so I'm going to get him some girl's pants if he doesn't already have them. So that'll be good. It's good to make friends that way. So I'll make sure that gets where it needs to go. What else did we get? I got another Inquisitor Hunter skin. We'll take a look at that. I did not have this one yet. Oh, I fly Lodgy a lot, so... That is the Logi Frigate, isn't it? I think I'm dumb and that's not the right one. That. Anyway, it's a skin. I'm collecting them all anyways, so we will activate. And we're going to close the distance. We're going to pick up that. We're going to see what else we got for loot from this site. What else? We got a standard. That'll probably just sell or give away to one of my alphas, one of my new bros in Corp. And yeah, that's it. So we got the pants. This I already had. I got one of these and I got the skin. So that is pretty cool. It's bugging me that I can't remember what the Amar one is. Yeah, Inquisitor was the remote armor reaper. Perfect. This is the one I was confusing it with. The Tormentor. Yes, okay. I mostly fly a guard, so that's my excuse. And I'm going to stick with it. Let's see what this baby has on it. Uh, yeah, not much. Just another... Here we go. We'll pick that up. And so that was a complete site. And then we got a bit of a race. I haven't lost one yet, which is awesome. Um, there was one site we had a Drake Navy issue, a Drake, two Healers, and something else. I can't remember. It was a... Stabber. No. Cinnabal. Cinnabal. And I got that one too. I don't know if they were all working together or what, but I just did exactly what you saw. Except I had the right, I had my range scripts, which I'm kind of kicking myself. I can't believe I left those behind somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, so a complete sight. Blow up the, uh, blow up the battleship and loot it. Usually when I do that and I forget to pick up my MTU and I go chasing down the battleship, uh, the loot buzzes by me and I have to come all the way back anyway. So usually even when I'm racing, I'll sit, but because I had forgotten my scripts, I couldn't do that. And there we go. So, complete sight in the Tengu. I will be trying these in my Alpha. I'm working on some fits. Uh, Cursed does have a Vexer, and he is capable of flying a Gila with rapid light missiles. He can't fly medium missiles just yet, heavy missiles. So, I'll probably fire him up. I do still have the fit for the Gnosis. I might buy another one of those from that I built for him from the previous site. I might just buy him another one of those and try that out as well. So that'll be in the next few days here. I'll do some more videos of this in different ships, uh, especially focusing on Alpha. Um, it's hard to call Cursed a new bro anymore. He's getting close to that 5 mil skill cap. And I've been training him, obviously, for the Gila, because at the end of the day, I think for what I'm doing for an Alpha, that's going to be the top dog. And that's going to be it. I do also want to get him flying the new battleship when we finally get it. The Society of Conscious Thought have a new battleship coming out. The Praxis, I believe it's called. So I'd like to get him one of those and try that in missions. And yeah, that's exciting. So, hope you enjoyed that video. So we got a couple of bug sites. I'm going to show you guys at least one of them just so you can see what it looks like when they're bugged. And one good full site all the way through. We got some pretty decent loot. 
Uh, the skins I collect, I could sell them. We got these pants. And there we go. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And as always, if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. That would be fantastic and greatly appreciated. I do appreciate all those who have subscribed already and all those who have shown more direct support. Thank you very much. And we'll talk to you guys later. Fly safe. I'm out of here.